It's the Quarantine Culinary Cooking Show. The Quarantine Culinary Cooking Show. Would you be vegan with me? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the new theme song we're working out. Why well, have a copyright on it? I'm not sure. All right. Anyway, today we are going to make one of my. I guess it's my one of my signature dishes since I cooked it in every restaurant that I worked in. Uh, when I was vegan and doing vegan stuff, uh, curried butternut squash soup. All right, so let's see what we got here for ingredients. We've got a butternut squash. I already used some of it before. It's fine. We have onions, which I have already diced up. Save some time. You don't need to watch me cook onions, chop onions again. We have some uh, dried chilies. These are wahios. And like I said, I showed you this before, we could just uh, pop all the seeds out and put them in. That's that. That uh, could go over here too. Uh, coconut milk, coconut cream. Uh, we're going to see which one of these is going to work better for this today. Uh, oil, uh, curry powder, yellow curry powder, a little bit of ginger, smoked paprika, and we'll try something new. This isn't what I usually do, but I'm going to try putting an apple in it too. I think we might, it'll help out pretty well. All right, so first thing we want to do is we're going to cut up these, this uh, butternut squash. And we're going to roast it in the oven. So I already used that part, so I'm just going to roast it into it. Cut this little piece at the end here. And pull it dry, that's great. Right? So I can get a compass. I'm going to cut it here right before the seed part. All right, through, right here. And you can see the knife, cut the skin off. And these are perfect for right now because these will last forever. I just want to put right before the quarantine thing started. And it's still good. Even if um, you couldn't do it, it's still still pretty good. I couldn't do it for my, for my first one when I did um, when I made curry. And let's see. I'm going to just do this. This part we can save for another recipe. It's kind of a pain to cut because it's got seeds in the inside. You're going to scoop them out and cut around it. That's okay. I've got enough right here to make a decent portion for you. So cut it up. And I'm just going to cut big points here. And there we go again. Nice shape. Just like that. That's good. It's perfect. It's going to roast up beautifully. And we're going to get a little bowl with it. You know how to put things in bowls, right? <laughs> Alright, so then we do a nice amount of oil. Just enough to coat. We're going to toss it around. And smoked paprika. My favorite spice. So we're going to put enough on it. There, okay. You know, kind of coats it a little. And that can go away. And yellow curry powder. Just enough there. And toss it around. Make sure it's even, nice and even. Do a little bit more. And a little bit of salt on there. Don't want to forget the salt things ever, unless you don't need salt, then you don't want to put salt on it. <laughs> and we're going to go on a sheet pan here. Get to go on. Nice, even spacing. All right. Great, so you see that there? We're gonna go in the oven, in which I already preheated. <laughs> Joke, I, hate that. I hate that term, preheat. Why, how's it preheating? You're just heating it, you're heating an oven. There's no pre, there's no <laughs> necessary pre there. All right, so then let's see what we got here. We have onions, which are already diced up, and we got our dried chilies. So with that, we are gonna go into a nice big saucepan here. Obviously, if you're making more, you can do a bigger pot. So then plenty of oil. We have our onions in. And we're gonna put in our dried chilies too. And then get these started on the stove. That's good. Good, uh, 
cinematography for me there. So I'm gonna start it. I'll start it out on high like I usually do, and I'll turn it down when it gets too hot. I'm also gonna do some ginger in this. So I'm gonna cut off the. Uh, I'm kind of wasting a lot there, but that's okay. I have too much ginger in my house because I bought too much of it because I had to buy it in bulk. I'm gonna take off all the skin and. Slice it thin first. And this way, it's, uh, this is all going to get pureed. So the onions were a rough chop. And this is a rough chop as well. So it's all good. And that's going to come over here. Uh, yeah, that's what we need a big close up on my big face. All right, yeah, okay, guys. All right. Awesome. All right, so let me show you what I got cooking here. All right, nice. I'm gonna do a little bit more oil. You can use plenty of oil here. It's all, it'll be all good. Mix it up. It's fine. You could use a, a spatula, a rubber spatula, to do that if you want. My wooden spoon is holding up all this, so that's what happened there. <laughs> all right, so let's dice up apple. Bring it in there. And right, we can just for apples. I'm not going to peel it because we're going to puree it and it's fine. The skin's got a lot of good flavor in it. Just go right there. You know, cut it right down where you know the core isn't going to be. Flip it over. And you can lay it flat. You look right down at the core. These are pink lady apples. Just what I happen to have. They're good. Very good, actually. They were a good batch. And you're just trying to get as much as you can. It's not core. garlic in this. You don't want garlic in this soup, but I'll just ruin it and make it gross. Ah, I got it. I got my, got my spoon. So gonna, what's going to happen here, these onions are going to cook, they're going to get nice and clear, and these chilies, these wahiyo dried chilies, are going to get nice and bright, and that's how you know that they're Ready. And I'm going to throw my apple in. Let that cook just for a minute. And let's head back over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we have two things here two different products, same brand. Uh, coconut milk and coconut cream. The difference is, let's see, total fat is 15 grams per serving for a third cup. There's five of those in there, so do your math there. And this is uh, 18 grams of fat per serving, so this is a lot thicker, a lot fattier. Uh, I think for today we're going to go with the regular coconut milk. There should be enough. We do about one can. Can opener here. Get in the shot. You guys know how to use can opener, right? <laughs> Alright. So that's open. Come back with me over here. Right. Okay. 
apples are in there. This is and exactly what I said is happening to the inside my pan here. And what we're going to do, we're going to add, going to add our stock. Uh, I usually use better than bouillon, no chicken base. It's a great brand. Um, I was out of it, so <laughs> um, and that's okay. Instead, I just compensate it with just some miso. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stock in here. I'm not gonna use all this. Let's see, and add our coconut. Get all that out. So that's gonna mix up real good. And we're gonna do a little time jump here because uh, our butternut squash is still roasting. It's gonna take, <laughs> it's gonna take uh, just a bit in the oven, probably about a half hour to 40 minutes to roast until it gets nice and soft. So we're gonna do a little time jump. And we're gonna come back. Now a word from our sponsor. Every kitchen needs the one thing, the one thing that can make your cooking experience just a little bit better. Blue polka dot ceramic chickens. Get out of here. With a blue polka dot ceramic chicken, you can change your kitchen into a place of happiness, a soothing experience. This friend chicken can make your culinary experience more fun and more positive. So, get yourself a ceramic blue polka dot chicken. It can change your life. All right, real quick, I just want to show you what was going on here in my pan. So this is what this looks like right now. I love it. It's my favorite thing when you cook a uh, Coconut milk it bubbles up and it's all foamy and delicious and we got all of our chilies and stuff in here And uh, that's going and we're gonna come back There we go, all right So we're back it's been about a half hour and our uh, squash is ready to go and we're ready to finish the soup you can see how it is it's nice and soft break apart in your hand and you can squish it all right so let's finish it up we got the soup here we got our blender all this can go in Perfect. And just gonna ladle this in. We're trying to get all the chunks. Actually, I'm just gonna go right in because I know this is the perfect amount of liquid for. amount of liquid is always good. Make sure it's all in there. Wipe it up. Power is on. So, all right. And I'm just going to do it the highest setting that you could possibly do. All right. So let's see what we got here with our soup. Uh, okay. It needs to a little bit more. No, we're going to switch into the other mode here. It does a lot better puree. We're going to try using one of these here. I'm just going to dump it right in. Alright. 
doesn't let you go full power when you use the, the big blender. So we're going to use the smaller one. It's going to let us really blend it up good. So now we can go on Nutri Ninja mode. See all the chilies are more, more pure to pureed up now. Alright, let's see what we got here. Beautiful, beautiful soup here. And we're gonna pour it right in this bowl and we're gonna show you exactly what we got here. Nice, good, delicious soup. All right, so you could serve this however you want. Uh, what I usually do, this is, uh, yeah, so like I said, this is one of my signature dishes. I've done it in all the, both of the restaurants that I worked in as a vegan, and it was always a special around autumn time, uh, around, you know, around fall, and uh, always sells very well. And also we do a pumpkin carving contest, my wife and I and my son, that we did it this year. Uh, and we always serve this. Uh, my favorite thing to serve with is some sourdough grilled cheese. I believe vegan uh, diet makes a a uh, jalapeno Havarti or pepper jack or something, and that makes a really good grilled cheese to go with this when we serve it. So let me taste it. Real quick. Let's see what we got here. It's good. All right. Oh yeah, perfect. Very good. Very good. So that's how we do it. A little spicy, but it's delicious. All right, so that's it. Curried butternut squash soup in springtime instead of fall. Thank you for watching.